Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Holland in Europa Universalis 4. So the Emperor is no longer going to be the Emperor anymore soon. We've decided that because Poland just took a huge chunk out of him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait, see what happens here. We're gonna siege down Luxembourg. And then uh, in some point in the near future, I want to go to war with England. I'd love to take over some of his territory. Has he converted everything over to... Uh... Yeah, he is totally, totally hardcore reformed. That whole island. Look at all these centers of reformed reformation. Wow. They're all in Ireland. Ireland and Europe and uh, England. All right. Well, there's, there's that, I guess. So, we're uh, pretty low on manpower. About 25%, 20%, somewhere around there. Luxembourg is uh, working on that guy. Meanwhile, Aachen is sieging him out. 21% chance he'll take that. But I don't believe that this war... It's the Brabantian conquest of this province. However, he does have a claim on this. Wait. Okay, Brabant declared war here. Yeah, I don't I don't know. He might try to give him Luxembourg. If he does, our war will just end. I don't know. Grand Bank Fisheries. He's trying. There's Austria. Hey, cool. Okay, so now we're allied to the Emperor. And he needs to like us more. <laughs> Desperately. So that's good. Austria no longer considers Castile. They've rivaled us, uh, the Ottomans instead. Commonwealth just refused to demand. Okay, good. So we're allied to the Emperor, which means we don't have to worry about unlawful territory anymore. However, we can't attack the Empire anymore because now we're allied to the Emperor. So that sucks. But we could attack like... Um, We could attack Castile with Austria's blessing now. Our truce with Castile is up in three years. I'm gonna go ahead and stand here. We're just gonna wait. Luxembourg just got pieced out. We start up our new siege. It is a level 3 fort, so we want these other cannons to go down there as well. Let's pull half the infantry. No siege leader still, unfortunately. We're about to have guaranteed siege value soon. Okay, wow. Constitutionalism and the general estates. In the early 17th century, when the northern part of the Netherlands had managed to hold the Spaniards at bay, a political conflict started over which type of government the new country should have. Moritz of Ori Oranian wanted a monarchy, Why Olden Barnevelt wanted a confederacy. A conflict ended with the confeder a confederacy of semi-autonomous provinces, hence its name, the United Provinces. Still, a spark of mon monarchism was kept, which later evolved into something more and lasting. So, type of government changes to Dutch Republic, which is a republic, obviously. We gain heavy ship combat ability, monthly autonomy reduction, we get uh, the free diplomat, of course, Based on that, we also get Republican cultural sufferance for non-accepted cultures. Right now, we are a feudal monarchy, so we're going to miss out on income from vassals. We have none because we have no vassals. A national manpower modifier. Or we could do administrative republic, administrative monarchy, or keep our current government. Ooh, I like the years of separatism. But I think we got to go with Dutch Republic because it's the Netherlands, right? Let's try it. Okay, so now we get to play with the whole statist and orangist campaign thing. So, the strengthening of the statists has forced Albert II to accept the election of a new stat holder. Both the statists and the orangists have put forward a new candidate. So, strengthen status by 33, strengthen orangists by 33. So, um, the closer we go towards the orangists, we get yearly Republican tradition goes down faster. And land force limit goes up. Also, we go to the statists, we get, we gain yearly per Republican tradition. Able force limit modifier goes up. Okay. I want to go with the better guy. That's all I care about, really. We get more monarch points. Okay, so the current effect is... It's just straight up. The statists are in power, so we get those things. Okay, cool. So we're going to be gaining two Republican tradition per year. We want to pass the Potpourri Act. Yes. Do we want to pass the Dissolution of Monasteries Act? Yes. Do we want to pass the Conventicle Act? 
Uh, no. Do we want to pass the this thing? No. And estates now demand control of provinces. So the burghers require more territory now. Um, the nobility has more land than they really need. So let's see. Uh, where do we have land assigned to the burghers? We've got the two provinces that are uh, estuaries. We've also got East Frisia up here we could give them. So we'll do that. Probably not enough. What else can we give them that's got good trade power bonuses? We don't have that, but that'd be a good, good province for them. I'd like to revoke a province from the nobility, but they're already really disloyal. We're just going to have to give them more land. Osnabrück has pretty crap autonomy. I mean, sure. It's only six development. Not very good. Takes him up to 16.7%. These provinces up here have higher autonomy. That one will work. That's enough. Okay, and can we build more shipyards? Yes, we can. We build more temples and stuff. Yes, we can. Sounds good. Okay, so we're working on our new siege. Austria's going through all of his demands for unlawful territory. Starting off at 50 Republican traditions, kind of unfortunate. Annexation of Scotland is complete. Okay. Good job, England. Ready to attack you soon, just so you know. Still building on Brandenburg, and he's not got any real tech advantages for us. So I think we should stop that. I mean, maybe he'll take a tech, though. Let's look in the ledger. See if anyone has. No one's got Tech 13 yet, right? That'd be crazy. Lawrence, though. Let's see. Let's do it this way. This might be an easier way to do it. Just sort by number of technologies. So, Venice. 11, 12, 12. If he's 11, 12, 12, I think he's pretty likely to soon get the rest of them. The ones we care about the most are admin and military. So, admin, military. There we go. Denmark. Of course. Emia. We got expelled from them as recently as well. Denmark and Bohemia. Great. Uh, well, when can we spy on Denmark again? Oh, it's, we can we can do it right now. It's just that we didn't have a, a diplomat available. Okay. Well, let's try. Do we still have that nasty penalty? No, we don't. Good. Two per month. You get some good discounts there. You you show him Austria. Denmark just collapsed, and they are now a feudal monarchy. About to finish our core. About to finish our siege. Still making money. Excellent money, in fact, despite the fact that we've got quite a few mercs. We're paying for the fort in the edge. I think we'll keep it. It's far enough away from Holland. Sure, we'll keep it. Okay. Unlawful territory, but we're allied with the Emperor. We take that, we take that, and we call it good. We've got our permanent core, permanent claim rather. Quite a bit of war exhaustion. It's coming down, but we'll just pay the price. And we are growing in corruption for the first time in quite a while. Yeah, 
And who is demanding territory now? Damn burgers. Galray just had a seed land. It's always getting even smaller. So Brabant got a little bit bigger. Again, we can't attack inside the Emperor Empire. Because Austria will protect them. But we can attack Castile as soon as the truce is up. Or we could attack here very soon. We could attack uh, England. And I, I like that idea quite a bit. You know, we build up a spy network on England. And we fabricate claims on... Actually, you know what? We can't fabricate claims on his land. We, need, we would need to take land from France to do that. Dutch noble rebels. I guess staying at peace for a little while would be good. We could just get these, these guys to be loyal again, that'd be great. They're trending backward, back up towards 50, that's nice. We could sack some prestige. It's not bad. And the burgers now have too much control. And they're feeling feisty. Brabant is now guaranteed independence by Castile. Austria, Castile. Let's see. We're rivaled right now to England, Sweden. Lorraine? You're actually going to let me rival Lorraine? Wow. Platinate, Commonwealth, Castile. I think Castile. Although we can only take two provinces from him. Why don't we go for the Platinate? Platinate's our ally. Okay, why don't we go for Lorraine? Just to keep the rival slot. Now, I really need to be able to summon a little bit stronger. Let's go with Castile. I really just want to attack England. For this damn truce. So December of 52, that's the end of this year. We'll be pretty close down to zero. War exhaustion. I mean, we're coming down pretty darn quick. Oh, we have a fort here as well. I don't like that. Through this one. With our development, we need six, seven actually forts to get the full amount of army tradition. So that's not going to happen. Ended up taking out quite a bit in debt to win that war. The yeah, bastard with his military tech. Wasn't a tactics advantage or something, I don't know. It was just, it was rough. We were struggling there for a little while. Excellent stability. Which is really, really valuable when you are a, uh, republic. There's no, no more legitimacy, so there's really no penalty to taking royal marriages anymore. It's a really nice feature to being a republic that can do royal marriages. England, Castile, and Denmark. Denmark's going to give us our discount. Somebody's going to give us our discount on tech. We're going to get a discount. Darn it. And we're going to keep on plowing through these ideas, because even though we're falling behind, and that's a very important tactics level, I just I feel like we're better off getting this idea group done. We're still focused on military, so it's not like we're going to fall hugely behind. Let's 
kind of cool PowerPoint generation there. The way that it works out. Okay, lots more land force limit. We will not train troops just yet. Sure. Sure. I caught in England already. There's nothing else I can do, so we just corrupt their officials. <laughs> it's like being mean to them. We got a disaster. Nothing to worry about. It's almost December. How am I going to get land from England? I mean, I've got Reconquest. I need to just use Reconquest as a justification to get to war and then take a province from them in their territory so that I can fabricate claims. If I took, like, Yorkshire, then I could fabricate on a lot of land. 16 development. Or we could try to take something, like, way up here just so that it's far away and try to minimize our aggressive expansion. Besides, Norway has a core here. And a claim. I think we try to take, like, Sutherland or even... Western Isles, just to get up in there. So these guys will not honor a call, because they have a truce, but that's temporary. We're going to call everyone in against England. Civil War in Aragon. Negative 3, negative 29. Distant war. France is a thousand ducats in debt, fighting in another war. Hmm. It's with you guys. War exhaustion. War extension. My lord autonomy. Eh, somewhat to be expected. I have no fort up there, sadly. We're gonna pick up some... some sort of a problem here. 10% local autonomy, that's not a big deal. We could put a fort in, like, Schleswig. Schleswig? Or would we rather have a fort in Finn? There's no fort in Denmark's capital. Still no siege value. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, Finn only borders two provinces, plus a third if we conquer that province. Whereas if we were to go for... Lesvig, it borders one, two, three. Having... Having control... Like, Finn would be good, just because we could have used the straits. I think we'll go for Finn. We'll build one. We got a fort here to protect this one, so we don't care about that siege. Still have the Danish separatists, but we can park an army there soon. Eh, it's defensive terrain, but whatever. It's mostly mercs, so we're not really losing much. Well, we actually are losing quite a bit, but. We do have to pay to recover them. Alright, I'm gonna take the mercs and consolidate them, because I wanna slowly bleed off our merc army. And now we need to park some troops over in Blecking. That province actually did surprisingly well at staying pretty happy. I didn't even raise autonomy. 
Munster's now Catholic. All right. Okay, what can we do about getting people to join our war? France would join on promises of territory, but not on... They won't accept a call based on... on favors? Promised English land is a plus 20 modifier. That's what's doing it. Still, if they weren't fighting in another war, they'd do it anyway, so let's just wait. Alright, we'll take a break here. Next episode, we will be considering this war here with England. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.